So when we talk about online or offline learning programs, we also hear the term learning products and programs. So what does this actually mean? Because there's actually a number of different ways that we can create educational and informative content that can earn us money and give us all of the things we've talked about so far. Um, and choosing which one is most appropriate for us really requires a little bit of thinking and a little bit of work. We need to really take stock of what what is it that we're actually trying to achieve? Why are we doing this? Now, if you are by core business an educator and you make the majority of your income out of educational products and programs, then what you're going to focus on building may be significantly different to that of somebody who sells dog food for a living, for instance, but is using edupreneurship to grow their business from that point of view. We need to be thinking about what does your wider business or your primary product products and services actually do and where do these educational pieces of content and information fit into that uh, from a bigger picture point of view. This we really need to decide on before we pick what learning products or programs are going to work for us. We also need to be thinking about how much content have we already got versus how much do we need to build. Now what we don't want to be doing is spending lots and lots of time and money building learning products and programs if it's just a lead generation tool, if it's just a small way of gaining customers into our wider funnel. However, if we are finding that the majority of our customers are coming to us for information, for advice, asking questions, if we're a service-based business, for instance, in any way, then we need to actually be thinking about, could it be significantly more profitable for us, help us scale more and create more of a passive income if we can find a way of turning our knowledge and our services into a product, a physical product that we can copy and paste that can be accessed anytime by anyone. Now, obviously, the answer is, is yes, if we can do that, we are going to be doing ourselves a great big favor. It's going to be freeing up a lot of our time, yet allowing us to help more people and make more money all at the same time. So I would say to you, look, if, you, uh, if it's going to benefit your business and uh, really help your customers by turning what you know into an online course, then it, definitely, definitely do it. I mean, I personally make um, a very nice passive income from my online courses, which answer all of the questions that I used to have to spend hours and hours on the phone or driving out to customers to answer. So it really is worth it. But you need to be asking yourself, are you going to be creating an online course on pre-existing public platforms or are you going to be creating your own online school? Are you going to be building something like that from scratch? Now, we are going to be talking a lot more about the questions and the differences and the pros and cons between all of those a little bit later on in my course. Um, but we also need to be thinking about, um, are we going to be seeing people face to face or are we going to be seeing people um, online? Is it going to be something that's automatic? Uh, what do we want to achieve? I mean, are we going to be doing formal assessments with people um, or is it purely just helping people for the sake of their own personal and professional development? Are we going to be creating manuals or ebooks or sort of reading guides that people can take themselves through in physical form? Do you want people to be able to print this stuff out and draw all over it and write notes on it? Or do you want to really protect your content in a way that it cannot be downloaded, that it can't be touched, that it remains on the platform under which they've had to pay to access that? Do you want your, your content to have shareability? Do you want people to be able to post it and share it all over the internet? Or do you want it to remain strictly private to a select group of people? All of these questions are going to help you decide which one of these types of products that you're actually going to start building for yourself. And perhaps you'll have a combination of, the, of, the, of them all. When we talk about packaging later on, we're going to be looking at, you know, are we just going to have a series of videos um, or are we going to have videos with workbooks, with assessments, with coaching, with a face-to-face -face workshop that goes with it? You know, what's, what are your packages of learning products and programs going to actually look like? Obviously, this is not exhaustive of all of the different types of learning products and learning programs and learning platforms that you can use to start your journey of edupreneurship. But hopefully this will just give you a good idea to now go away and start brainstorming and having a think about what it is that you would like to create.